So I want to demonstrate the AI program in um, action. There's a, a very small polyp here, a couple of millimeters in size. In white light, it looks like it has a little bit of a central valley sign um, in it. I'm going to turn the close uh, focus on, and then to activate the AI, all we need to do is turn on the narrowband uh, imaging. You can see that the program is uh, really immediately developing high confidence that this is a type 2 lesion. It'll do it either in the near focus, it'll also do it uh, in standard focus from a little uh, greater distance. So this would be a great candidate if we actually could perform resecting, discard uh, this lesion has basically zero chance of having cancer in it. We could remove it and uh, throw it away. But it demonstrates uh, nicely the performance of, of the model uh, with a high confidence diminutive type 2 lesion. Okay, with the sigmoid uh, colon now, again, still with our pediatric scope. We've got about a 5 millimeter lesion. Take a close look at it, and uh, the program is telling us that this is a type 2 lesion. I'm just going to try to get in here close to verify that that's the case. I do think that the surface pit structure is primarily uh, tubular, and uh, yeah, definitely a uh, type 2 lesion. Uh, the program knew that before uh, I did. Um, but I would agree that this is a nice two lesion, a conventional adenoma. We're in the sigmoid, so we'll go ahead and, and uh, remove this lesion. In the same rectum, we can see a couple of other uh, lesions here and here. These are a little bit more typical uh, type 1 lesions for both of these. The program is uh, immediately recognizing that these are type 1. Some of these pits are a little bit more open on the lower lesion here, I probably would remove that. On the other hand, I'd feel completely comfortable, especially if this were five millimeters or smaller in size and leaving this lesion uh, in the rectum. And it's good to see the uh, endoscopic assessment uh, confirmed by the AI program. Here's an interesting lesion uh, in the rectum. Even in white light, this appears to be type one. You can see the dark uh, pits. I don't see any blood vessels on the surface of this. It also has the large uh, open pits, which I think is the most common endoscopic feature that we see uh, for sessile serotonin polyps in lesions that are diminutive. The other WASP features are not commonly seen. You can see the program is um, developing high confidence type 1. Despite the fact that we've got some dark structures, it's able to analyze this surface structure and determine that this is a high confidence type 1 lesion. It's in the rectum, but because of those large open pits, I would still remove this lesion.